Bond. When you buy a bond, you are the lender or creditor, and the issuer of the bond, is the debtor or borrower, who is obliged to pay you interest, coupon, and to repay the principal at a later date, termed the maturity date. Bonus shares. Bonus shares are the additional shares, that a company gives to its existing shareholders, without any additional cost. Boom. In the stock market, booms are associated with bull markets, with rising prices and higher volume. Broker. Broker is a member of a stock exchange, who execute transactions, such as, buying and selling of stocks, on behalf of their clients. In return for this, they charge a brokerage commission. Stock market brokers provide other services also, such as portfolio management, financial advice, offering multiple platforms, through which investors and traders can access the stock market, etc. Market price. The market price of a stock, is the most recent price, that a stock has traded for. It is the price, at which a buyer is willing to buy for a stock, meets the price, at which a seller is willing to sell. Mutual funds. A mutual fund is an investment vehicle, that brings together money from many people and, invests it in stocks, bonds or other assets. Each investor owns units, which represent a portion of the holdings of the fund. The income gains generated from this collective. Investment is distributed proportionately amongst the investors after deducting certain expenses, by calculating a scheme's net asset value or NAV. So, when you buy a unit or share of a mutual fund, you are buying a part of the portfolio's value. Investing in a share of a mutual fund is different from investing in shares of stock. Unlike stock, mutual fund shares do not give its holders any voting rights. A share of a mutual fund represents investments in many different stocks, or other securities, instead of just one holding. A fund's NAV is derived by dividing the total value of the securities in the portfolio by the total amount of shares outstanding. Outstanding shares are those held by all shareholders, institutional investors, and company offices or insiders. Mutual fund shares can typically be purchased or redeemed as needed at the fund's current NAV, which, unlike a stock price, doesn't fluctuate during market hours, but it is settled at the end of each trading day. Debt funds. A debt fund is a mutual fund scheme, that invests in fixed income instruments, such as government securities and corporate bonds. These funds aim to offer reasonable returns to the investor, and are considered relatively less risky. Debt funds are ideal for investors, who aim for regular income, but are risk averse. Debt funds are also referred to as, fixed income funds or bond funds. Benefits of investing in debt funds 1. Stable returns. 2. Tax efficiency. Debt funds are more tax efficient than traditional investment options like fixed deposits or FDs. 3. High liquidity. Debt mutual funds have no lock-in periods. Debt mutual funds are liquid and you can withdraw your money from the fund on any business day. 4. Flexibility. Debt mutual funds also offer you the option of moving around your money to different funds. This is possible through a systematic transfer plan or STP. Here, you have the option to invest a lump sum amount in debt funds and systematically transfer a small portion of the fund into equity at regular intervals. This way you can spread out the risk of equities over a specified period of a few months rather than investing the entire amount at one point. 5. Debt funds are less volatile and hence, are less risky than equity funds. Thank you for watching this video. Please click the subscribe icon and then tap the bell icon to get notification for new video of my channel.